guys, it's Hyper here, and welcome back to yet another episode of OP Prison on Prime MC. Bruh. Now, guys, as always, if you are still enjoying this series, be sure to absolutely destroy that like button down below. That would be greatly appreciated. Also, while you're at it, if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click that bell to turn on notifications for the channel as well. But without further ado, let's just get on straight into today's episode, then. And guys, for today's giveaway, we actually are going to be giving out a mythical kit so basically here's all the stuff that you get on a myth kit if you want to go ahead pause the video just look over all this again feel free to but anyways for those of you that don't know already how these giveaways work is I'm gonna give you guys a like goal and if you guys reach that like goal I basically double the giveaway so two people would win myth kits instead of just one person winning a myth kit and today I am going to set that like goal at 16 likes so guys if this episode of skyblock reaches 16 likes I'll actually go ahead and double that giveaway and basically all you really need to do to be entered is just leave a like and then leave a comment with your in-game name Nothing else you really need to do But with that all out of the way, let's just get on straight to today's episode then Now guys, uh, I have a bit of bad news So, the other day, this uh, not the other day, I should say about uh, two weeks ago I'd say I think it was two weeks ago, I don't know, sometime around two weeks ago My island got griefed And basically, this dude stole all my squid spawners all the spawners that were in this grinder, which was like some spider, some witch, I, I honestly forgot. There were like six in here, though. My iron golem spawner, but they left my blaze spawners, which I, I don't know why they left my blaze spawners. I, I honestly don't know how they would miss them. I mean, it's, it's kind of obvious that there's a bridge here. But anyways, that's all they stole. I went ahead, rebuilt the island, just because it wasn't honestly that bad of a griefing like some of the blocks around the island were broken and for whatever reason they decided to place like 10 million hoppers right here which I went ahead and destroyed but it wasn't that bad of a griefing except for the fact that we lost some spawners now I did actually go ahead and sell my minion and my super pickaxe so I could buy some spawners back I think I also sold my mob whacker or maybe I didn't sell my mob whacker I don't really know but anyways so that happened and then I log on today, and I don't know how long ago this happened, but look, if I go down here to my squid grinder, someone tried to grief us literally again. Like, this was not here three days ago. I already patched up the squid grinder, and these are all the spawners I was able to buy with the money that I got from selling the super pickaxe and the minion egg. But if I go in here, as you can see, they have a freaking bridge right here. A two bridges, actually. They have one right here. As well as you can see there I'm assuming these guys didn't have slash fly so that's probably why they needed the bridges and luckily they didn't actually get to any of our spawners because somebody told me a bit of a trick where nobody on your islands but you can break your spawners so basically if you put a sign next to a chest on a spawner if that makes any sense and then write in like all the stuff you see here, except obviously instead of my in-game name, your in-game name. It'll actually protect the spawner from being broken from anyone else on your island except you. Just a cool tip should probably let you guys know about if you want to protect your island from griefers in the future. But anyways, this happens and I was like, okay, seriously? And not only that, but if I go down here, they stole a bunch of hoppers as well. Not as many as before because the first time I got griefed, they actually stole like literally every single freaking hopper here. It was kind of annoying because they had to replace a bunch of these as, as well as these ones right down here. But anyways, they basically stole all the hoppers. We still have some chests that do have ink sacks in them as you can see right down there. But one thing I did want to go ahead and do before we get to anything else is I kind of want to rebuild this just because I don't think it'll take too long to build. Honestly, I might just do it off cam just so you guys don't need to really watch it because I do realize that would be kind of boring if that's all I did this episode. But anyways, I'm going to quickly go do that and then I'm going to get to what I was planning to do for the rest of the episode. Alright, so we're placing down the rest of our hoppers. Actually, I do need to go ahead and add a chest back there. I actually don't know if that's a trap chest. Or a normal chest, so I'm just gonna hope it's a normal chest. Actually, I think I can just buy them from Slash Shop in decoration, right? Yeah, I can. Good. I'll just go ahead and buy a chest, and please tell me it's not a trap chest. Okay, good. It wasn't a trap chest, so we don't need to worry about crafting one. But anyways, that's basically all we need to do for now. The platform, I mean, I have Slash Fly, so I don't really need a platform at the moment. And I suppose you could always just kind of jump down from there if you wanted to walk down here and grab some i will build a platform sometime else though i didn't want to build one right now though just for the sake of time also as you can see i added a bit of an afk platform in there 
Probably gonna make it a bit bigger, but for now it'll do. Also, for whatever reason, they decided to make a hole right here so water could spill down. I, I really don't know if that was just to annoy me or if that's something they accidentally broke. I don't really know, but anyways. Uh, there's actually another waterfall right here, although I think this one is supposed to be here. Or maybe... Maybe not, I don't know. I'm just gonna block it up for now so we don't have random waterfalls going off of our island. But anyways, that should be all the rebuilding that we do have to go ahead and do this episode. Now for the rest of the episode, I did want to actually go ahead and kind of expand this area of our island. Because this is basically like the main point of our island. Like this is where my welcome sign is. You also got a bunch of donation things here, a bunch of shops. You can also sell spawners right in here. So I just honestly thought, let's go ahead and just expand it. I really didn't know what else to do for this episode. And I didn't want to make it an episode about me just rebuilding the islands because we got griefed. So, yeah. And also, another thing they didn't steal. They didn't steal any of the... Oh, wait, no, I have signs in here that couldn't have stolen them. Never mind. Okay. First, I was actually so happy that they didn't stole these island levels, but... I completely forgot that I actually have my cell shop signs on them so nobody can open them but me. But anyways, here's what I do want to go ahead and get to doing. I kind of want to attach this area here to this area here. Kind of make a bit of a bigger space just for everything. This will kind of be connected to the cow grinder that way. Now, I might still keep this here. I don't really know because... I, I don't know, I feel like it would kind of be annoying if you have a bit of a wall here and then just nothing there. I don't know, I'm just gonna do whatever I feel like doing for now. And then if one of my island members wants me to change it or if I want to change it, I can just go ahead and do that in a couple of seconds. But anyways, let's go ahead, start. Okay, well, we already failed at doing that. Let's go back to our island. This isn't even the right island warp. What am I even doing, guys? But anyways, hopefully we don't fail again. Let's try this. I'm gonna shift off the edge specifically so we don't fall. I would fly, but flying actually, for those of you that didn't know, I mean, I'm sure basically all you guys already know this, but flying obviously makes you break blocks a whole lot slower, so I'd rather not try to fly. Alright guys, so that's basically all cleared out. We'll go ahead and actually move our diamond block shop once this is all done as well, just because I don't think having it just in the middle of everything is really a good place to put it. So anyways, let's go ahead and start building this right out here. I'll go ahead and I'm gonna probably try to make this four blocks tall as I go along. Let's make sure we're not just using one of the same block every single time. So I guess I'll go ahead, change it to four blocks right as it reaches this point here. And then it'll lower to three blocks once it gets a bit closer to this one. I think that'll look good enough. Normally I try to aim for about three or four blocks when I'm doing stuff like this, like island borders or island walls. I don't really know what you want to call it, but anyways. That should be good right there, I'm thinking. Yeah, let me quickly check. Uh, yeah, that looks pretty good. And then I can go ahead and add my diamond block shop. Actually, I kind of want to... I don't know. I guess I'll add it, like, either right here or right on the edge here. I don't really know yet. But anyways, we do need some grass. Let's go back into slash shop. Buy some grass, okay? There we go. 64 should be enough. This isn't too big of an area to fill in here. So let's just go ahead and fill all of this in right here. And alright guys, that is looking pretty good. Now, I just realized doing that kind of, it kind of ruined the point of the fences. Like, I added these here because I thought it looked cool and it like connected to all this, but it kind of ruined the point of these. I might just keep them there just because I, I still think it looks nice. I don't know, but anyways, let's go ahead and start tearing this down. I'm actually going to need a bit more grass so I can fill in the little hole that lead, that gets left here once I go ahead and break these diamond blocks right down here. Please don't fall into the void. Okay, they fell into the void. Rest in peace. But anyways, let's go ahead and place some grass blocks right there and right there. Now, I'm going to get all the diamond blocks that I have in my inventory before I break these because with my luck, these things are going to get cleared by entity lag if I try breaking them and all the blocks are still in there and I believe the price was 520,000 for an inventory so that's what I'm gonna do right down here let's go ahead and I suppose right here will be a good spot for this wait nope why'd I do that okay there and then I'll go ahead and break the grass blocks underneath this I gotta be like very precise here because it's a very small area I can actually go ahead and break this from Anyways, let's go ahead and place the diamond blocks down right there. There we go, guys. Now, as I said, I said, now I said 520,000, I think. So let's go ahead with uh, 2,304, 
sell, um, 520, wait, no, not 530, 520,000 diamonds block. I think this is how you do it, right? Okay, good. I'm not doing it wrong, but let's just go ahead and do that. And then what do I have on these signs? Oh, yeah, two times more money than Slash Shop. This is about two times more money than Slash Shop, actually. I think it's actually closer to, like, one point, I think it's, like, 1.8 times more money than Slash Shop exactly. But, uh, I decided just to round up. Also, who's really even gonna do the math, honestly? So, I decided just to go ahead and do two times the money, and then, and two, then, slash, shop. And then a little bit of a, uh, surprise face. I don't know, I have them on all the other signs. Let's just go ahead, do that, place all of our diamond blocks back in here. And okay, guys, so this is actually looking pretty good. I don't know what I'm gonna put here yet, or if I'm even gonna put anything at all. I might do, I might do a bit of like a sell shop or something, like some chests here for something, like vote keys maybe? I don't know, do people even buy vote keys anymore? I didn't even think people buy, oh wait, no, there aren't vote keys, I'm stupid, I forgot, they don't actually have vote keys in the game yet, like literally, Skyblock's, the Skyblock reset is supposedly in like three months, and they still don't even have vote keys implemented. Good job, Prime MC. No hate, though. I do still really enjoy the server, but, like, come on. You gotta implement vote keys already. But anyways, that's gonna do it for today's episode of Skyblock Thunder on Prime MC. As always, if you guys have enjoyed, be sure to absolutely destroy that like button down below. Subscribe if you're new to the channel. Share this video with your friends. And anyways, I will talk to you guys in the next one.